Families of the Super, Superbike Motorsports uh, murders search for the person responsible. Now that the who has been answered, the families are trying to get answers about why this could happen. And for the first time since the evidence was released, those families have sat down with our Brianna Smith. She's standing by with more tonight. Brianna. Well, Gordon, the families of Scott Ponder, Brian Lucas, Chris Sherbert, and Beverly Guy made it their mission over the past 14 years to bring justice to the Superbike case. Now that that justice has been found, they're focusing on a brighter future. Yep, this is the light. The years of holding press conferences. I never would have guessed it would have been solved. I think I thought that boat had sailed. And pleading for answers is over. Felt just like it was time to move on with life and. And everything seemed peaceful. Todd Colehap arrested for seven murders, sentenced to life in prison. We accomplished exactly what we wanted. We wanted him out of our life. With Todd gone, the families are now seeing the evidence from the horrific crime for themselves. His demeanor about this has been just shocking to me. Mothers, fathers, wives watching the killer lay out the crime that he kept secret for so long. I thought I'd fall over when he said to the, to the investigators that he would be happy to train the SWAT team if they wanted him to. I mean, you know, somebody who thinks like that after what he's done, <laughs> you know, it, it's scary. A confession that would bring these families closure. For it to happen within a matter of hours of the 13 year anniversary, <laughs> and that's, that's nothing less than a miracle. We have a face, we have a name, we have his crazy reasoning. There was no doubt in my mind as he got through it, you know, I, I said, this guy, you know, he's the real deal. And questions for the future. I think there'll be more things to unfold with this case. There's still more. As they reflect on the 13 years that they stood working for answers. We never gave up. Never gave up. They're really proud of that, that they fought for all those years, and, yeah. and now they have their answer. Going on now 14 years mm -hmm. after that happened. You used a word in that story, closure. Do they actually have closure now that they've heard this? You know, I do think that the Superbike families do. They, they say, I don't think about Todd. I don't call him by Todd. They have closure in this case. Now, the other victims' families in this, that's a different story. It's yeah. very raw still for them. So, you know, it's very two different cases no, here. I just can't imagine what any of them are going through. Brianna Smith, thank you. If you missed any of Brianna's special report, A Killer Among Us, The Unsealed Files of Todd Kolhep, a lot of exclusive content from that investigation, including the confession that we're talking about here, you can see all of that series right now on WSPA.com.